All right, so lesson 57 is on adding and subtracting fractions and the three steps you take. So here we have one half plus two thirds. Now step one is shape. We want the fractions to have common denominators. So we have to look, are the denominators common? No, they're not, so I need to change that. Step two is to do whatever operation it asks. And step three is to simplify by reducing and converting it to a mixed number if needed. So first, let's start with our first step, which is the shape. Now I need to make sure that these two problems, let's move them over right here, one half plus two thirds. I need to make sure that they have the, a common denominator. In this case, they don't, so I need to change them so that they do. So I know that a common denominator of 2 and 3 is 6. So I multiply 2 times 3 to get 6. So I need to multiply the top by 3 to get 3 6. And I multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. So I have 2 times 2 is 4. In this case I'm adding them. The second step is to do the correct operation. Don't subtract. That's a problem I see every year. So 3 6 plus 4 6 is equal to 7 6. Now the last step is to convert this into a mixed number. So we don't like improper fractions unless it's a ratio. So 7 6 turns into the mixed number 1 and 1 sixth. Okay. Alright, in this one we have 5 6 minus 1 third. So first we need to get it in the correct shape. So 5 6 minus 1 third. So the correct shape, they need to have a common denominator. In this case, 3 can go into 6. So I'm going to leave 5 6 the same. And 1 3rd is going to become a fraction that has a denominator of 6. So 3 times 2 is 6. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2 to get 2 6. Now I can subtract them. 5 6 minus 2 6 is equal to 3 6. And in this case, I just need to reduce my fraction, and 3 6 reduces down to 1 half. And that's all. Good luck with your homework.